The dark garlic is an interesting plant to many players. It's dark, mysterious and has little information listed about it. But after some research, I believe this plant was created not via natural means, but through a ritual performed by an ancient cult. Today, we'll be exploring the origins of this cult and how it connects to the most demonic force in all of Plants vs Zombies. To start, we need to go to the year 1185, the age of the Samurai. In the PVZ world, the Samurai would have lived in Asia and Zen Peak. This is evident in both Seeds of Time and Zen Peak by looking at a variety of objects present such as building design, abundance of fireworks and even ninjas such as Zen Sensei. However, there is one interesting character that lived in this period, that being Jade Cactus. Jade Cactus is a very intriguing character all because of her armor and backstory. According to her entry, she is a guardian from long ago. We are able to work out what era this is based on her armor. Her helmet strongly resembles a samurai helmet, meaning she was most likely around this era. However, she was formed before the samurai, not during their reign. So, what could this mean? Well I have two theories. Theory 1. She was discovered by the inhabitants of Asia, who saw her as the guardian in the legend. They then shaped their armor to match hers as a way of worship and respect, or even out of belief this style of armor grants some additional powers. This would mean that Jade Cactus is essentially a sort of god who shaped a portion of Asian culture. Theory 2. Jade Cactus is confirmed to be made of mystical rock and also have some form of magic powers. While they aren't visible, it's possible this mystic power is intelligence or foresight. Perhaps she was able to see into the future and used her knowledge of the samurai to alter her form early on in her development to appeal more to the inhabitants of Asia. This would certainly explain the mystic powers of Jade that she seems to have. I'd also like to draw attention to Zen Cactus. While there is no information about her creation, we can assume she was also created in Asia. She is made of some mystic rock and unlike Jade Cactus, has very obvious mystic powers. Not to mention Zen Peak is the birth of all things Zen and mystic, so it's logical to assume she was around the same era as Jade. The garlic drone actually has some interesting lore surrounding a cactus named Saloon. While we don't know who she is, we do know she is a very important character as she is the first cactus to ever use, and possibly discover, a garlic drone. She was juggling garlic in the air and one of them hovered for a bit longer than normal. Unfortunately, we don't have a date for this event, but we can work out a rough date based on the existence of the dark garlic drone. The dark garlic is said to be infused with dark mystical energy, presumably the same mystical energy that affects Jade and Zen Cactus. Because of this, we can assume garlic drones were around during the same era. But there's something interesting about the drone. The dark mystical energy gives it the blue appearance, and there is only one other entity made of dark black magic that we know of, that being the mythical Gargocha. The Gargocha has some very in-depth lore, so I'll only be covering it in brief for this video. The Gargocha lives in an alternate world where it created the Wand of Sweet Spells. This wand allowed it to create rifts to travel to our world. At some point, it was banished and sent back without the wand. This prevented it from returning unless someone created a rift that it could use to escape back. This was the first time it was banished, and the wand has been kept in the mortal realm ever since to prevent the Gargocha's return. So how does he connect to the dark garlic? Well, here's my theory. Out of the two, Zen Cactus is much more active with magic in both gameplay and appearance. I believe that in their pursuit of magic, a group of Zen Cacti found the wand of sweet spells. Their interactions caused a rift to open up, which further intrigued them. In order to see inside the rift, they use the finest in modern technology to explore it, the garlic drone. Their exploration led them to the Gargocha, who as a gift, fused some of its power into the drone, giving it a new blue appearance. But why would the Gargocha give some of his power to this group? 
Simple answer, to keep them interested in his realm long enough for him to escape. You might think that the group would be able to tell it's dark magic, but it is magic from a completely different dimension and it vastly different from what they know, so it is possible they had no idea what kind of mess they were dealing with. That is exactly what happened. The group turned into a cult to interact with this new magic, and the Gargocho was able to escape to try take over the world. But there was one problem, and that is there was an outsider who had found out what was going on, that being the one and only Baron Von Batz. Based on Garden Warfare 1, he is Aprix 1000 years old in 2014, making his birthday somewhere in the year 1014. This means Baron would have been active during all of the events in this video, so he would indeed been able to interfere in the encounter. In Garden Warfare 2, we know Baron had the Wand of Sweet Spells, which means he would have had to have got it from somewhere. I believe that Baron found out the cult's activities and when the Gargocha got free, he stepped in and with either his own magic or with the wand, banished the Gargocha back to hell without the wand. What he did with the cult is unknown. But this would explain how he has the wand in the campaign. Now, let's form our timeline. Jade Cactus is uncovered in Asia along with Zen Cacti. During this period, another cactus called Saliun makes the discovery of the Garlic Drone, which spreads around fast. A small group of Zen Cacti stumble upon a mysterious artifact which has the power to open strange rifts. Using garlic drones, they explore inside and find a powerful entity, who gives them some of his power as a gift. The group further studies this power and eventually form a cult to worship this new magic. The prolonged use and study of this rift gave the Gargocha enough time to escape and enter the mortal realm, which he would attempt to rule over. His attempt was cut short when Baron Von Batz intervened, sealing him away back inside the rift without the wand. While the fate of the cult is unknown, we know Baron took the wand with him and put it upon himself to protect it at all costs, which he seems to have done a good job at, as he still had it during Garden Warfare 2. With that, we have reached the end of today's theory video. I hope you all enjoyed this dive into hidden lore, and I'll see you next time for the Immortica upgrade build.